she just, there she is. Here, thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Chair. And I know that uh, Mr. Webster agrees with me and, and would join me in, in telling you how important the marine industry is to Florida. As I'm sure you know, it's, a, it's probably over a $600 billion impact to our economy with, with hundreds of thousands of jobs. So I join with my colleagues in wanting to have more resources uh, for, for your agency. Um, and I wanted to say I, I sat in at a uh, civil review board process a couple, I think a couple months ago, and I would really recommend anybody on this committee to go and, and see how a professional and thorough and thoughtful uh, the Army Corps is, and you will understand why it takes so long to get th through these feasibility studies. Um, what, one of the things that, that we did uh, last year in water was to uh, allow a non-federal sponsor to prefund the planning and design and construction phase of a project uh, without congressional authorization, but after they got their chief's report, and then uh, later see credit or reimbursement. Uh, Secretary Darcy, can you t I know that you are working on some guidance uh, thoughts. I mean, wh where is the Army Corps in that? Um, the, the 1023 guidance that, uh, that Congressman um, Webster referred to I think is the same guidance that you are referring to, which is um, additional contributions by non-federal interests. Um, and as the Chief said, we've had, we've, we have some um, requests for that because it, it depends on whether you use contributed funds or, or those kinds of things. Um, and, and what we can do is give you an, um, a status report of what, what kinds of requ requests we have had since the passage of that. But are you, are you putting through, are you going to issue some rules or uh, are you just doing it on a case by case basis? Well, the guidance is, applies to, is nationwide guidance for how you would implement these provisions. But then we have to make a case by case once, once the request comes in to, to the district about how the local sponsor would want to contribute funds to that project. In regards to uh, Port Everglades, one of our, my favorite subjects, uh, where we have been waiting 18 years for a Chief support, but we are making progress. Thank you very much. I, no, really, we have we're made very, very good progress, and I want to thank you for that. One of the issues that was raised at the Civil Works Review Board was the outstanding EPA permit for the dredge material disposal site. And uh, just wondering if you have an update on that and whether or not uh, not having the EPA permit uh, would prevent the county from moving forward uh, on the uh, pre-construction engineering and design phase. Congresswoman, I don't know the status of the EPA permit, but I will check on it for you. But I think we, I mean, you went to the Civil Works Review Board, so I think we are on target to hopefully get this Chief's report completed in May. Okay. Well, that's, that's terrific. And let's see, I have a little bit more time to uh, continue. Uh, I want to talk about Broward County and the Segment 2 Shore Protection Project, uh, uh, be beaches and uh, beach restoration is so important to Florida's economy, over $50 billion in economic impact, 450,000 jobs, just protects our shorelines, obviously, for tourism. Uh, so making sure that we have sand on the beach is, is a major priority. I, uh, we've been having a problem uh, trying to, with the construction of a shore protection project in an area called Segment 2, which encompasses Fort Lauderdale north of, to Pompano Beach, which is a federally authorized uh, project. And I'm just wondering if you could, make, give, if, you, if you're able to give me an update, uh, because it's, it's very critical that the county begin to restore its beach in November of 2015, because uh, we have to, uh, we want to get it done before tourism season, and we also have to coordinate with the turtle nesting. Um, Congresswoman, th um, I think this is the project you are referring to, the shore protection project in Broward County. And we are currently doing, um, well, or the sponsor has prepared what is called the limited reevaluation report. And um, we are expecting um, that scheduled for approval by the end of May. So that will be the um, approval needed in order to go forward with that. Okay. That is this, uh, this May. May 15, 2015. Yes. All right. Well, will that, 
Uh, okay. We'll take that. Right. And that would be the decision document for the execution of the partnership agreement for this second segment that you asked about. All right. Thank you very much.